Hello everyone. My name is Manu Parami and I'm an Applications Engineer at Plexim. In this video, I will demonstrate a Plex model of a dynamic control of the DC link voltage in a hybrid back-to-back -back modular multi-level converter or an MMC for medium voltage drive applications. This model has been designed by Jonathan, a student at the University of Santiago, Chile, and his team. In an MMC, the capacitor voltage of each cell has a fluctuation term that increases inversely proportional to the machine's theta frequency. In a medium voltage drive application, where a wide speed range is required, this poses a problem. To tackle this problem, for a variable speed drive, at low frequencies, circulating currents and a high frequency sinusoidal common mode voltage, called mitigation variables, are introduced into the system. These mitigation variables reduce the fluctuations of voltage in the capacitors of the converter cells and do not affect the input and output currents of the system at low frequencies. However, the circulating currents cause an increase in switching and conduction losses of the system, and the addition of a common mode voltage can produce machine problems such as winding insulation damages and leakage currents in the bearing, reducing the machine lifespan. Therefore, for control purposes, the operating range of the MMC is usually divided into two modes, the high frequency mode and the low frequency mode. During the low frequency mode operation, the mitigation variables are used to maintain the capacitor voltage fluctuations to an acceptable range. Then, when the high frequency mode is enabled, the mitigation variables are omitted. However, the magnitude of the mitigation variables, especially the common mode voltage magnitude, is still high, posing a challenge. The model developed by Jonathan and their team proposes a controlled scheme that relates the speed of the machine with the DC link voltage magnitude to reduce the large circulating currents and common mode voltage of the converter when the machine operates at low speed. They designed a new DC voltage control loop to obtain the necessary voltage reference that ensures the correct operation of the total system. This logic reduces the magnitude of the common mode voltage and circulating currents used in low frequency mode operation that maintain the capacitor voltage fluctuations bounded between an acceptable range of operation. Let's look at their control scheme. There are four different control systems implemented in the model. Average control, balancing control, machine control, and cell balancing algorithm and modulation. The average control system ensures that the total mean capacitor voltage is maintained at the desired reference. It also controls the DC port voltage to improve the dynamic performance of the total system. The balancing control system controls the circulating current and the common mode voltage of the converter and maintains the capacitor voltage fluctuations within an acceptable operation range. The machine control maintains the rotor flux. And finally, the cell balancing algorithm maintains the reference cell capacitor voltage on each cluster of both the MMCs. They built a Plex model to validate their converter and the proposed control scheme. Here is the top schematic of their Plex model. These are the back-to-back -back MMCs. There is a grid-side MMC connected to a three-phase grid and a machine MMC connected to an induction machine. Let's look under the subsystem of the grid-side MMC. The MMC has an upper and a lower cluster on each of the legs. Each cluster consists of a stack of N-cells modeled as a controlled voltage source. This subsystem here captures all the measurements of the grid-side MMC. In this model, a decoupled DQ vector control system model is used. The converter signals are transformed using six-dimensional transformation to alpha, beta, and zero sigma and alpha, beta, and zero delta values for improving the dynamic performance of the system control loops. The average voltage control of the grid-side MMC provides a current reference to the AC port current controller. The balancing control system provides a reference to the circulating current controller. The outputs from these current controllers after an inverse transformation 
provide the cluster voltage reference value, which is then used for cell balancing. Next, let's look at the machine side MMC subsystem. The converter and control system is similar to the grid side MMC. The average voltage control of the machine side MMC, in addition to providing the average cluster voltage references, ensures a proper operation of the back to back MMC configuration by providing a dynamic DC port voltage reference. Controlling the machine with a variable DC link voltage, depending on the machine speed, decreases the mitigation variables required to achieve a proper energy balance control. The power balancing control of the machine side MMC operates both in low frequency mode as well as in high frequency mode and provides a reference to the circulating current controller. The common mode voltage control provides a common mode reference value, an important mitigation variable in the control scheme, to the average and power balancing control systems. Similar to the grid side MMC, the outputs from the controllers after an inverse transformation provide the cluster voltage reference value, which is then used for cell balancing. Let's look at the simulation results. As can be observed from this plot here, the DC port voltage is dynamic and it depends on the machine speed. In this model, at 4.5 seconds, the power balancing control is switched from low frequency to high frequency operation. During low frequency mode, it has been observed that there was a 70% reduction in the circulating currents and 60% reduction in the common mode voltage when the machine is operating at very low speeds when using the dynamic DC port voltage as compared to a constant DC port voltage. The cluster capacitor voltages of both the machine said MMC as well as the grid said MMC are as expected. For more information on the control scheme, we invite you to explore Jonathan's paper available on the IEEE website. If you have a Plex model that you have a link to share, please submit your model to info at plexim.com for a chance to have your model displayed. For more videos and other information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com. Thanks for watching.